Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make a super cheap clamp mount for your GoPro camera. Now, I've shown you how to make a clamp mount before on my channel, but I did a pretty professional job of it and did it um, using a very large clamp. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make one really, really cheap and easily. Um, I got this clamp at the hardware store for all of a dollar nine. So um, this was really cheap. It's a bit smaller, but um, I find that most of the things I clip onto are probably about an inch at max. So this one will be perfect for all of those things. And the other thing is that moving my large clamp mount around is um, a little bit difficult just because of its size. So I'm quite excited to have something a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna need um, some mounting hardware. In this case, we're gonna need a bolt this is a quarter by 20 bolt that's three quarters of an inch long, and then two nuts for the bolt. Uh, for GoPro stuff, all you need is a tripod mount. This is the uh, Joby tripod adapter, actually not even the GoPro one. You can either get the GoPro adapt Go, uh, tripod adapter for I think $7 from their website, or you can have a look on, um, or actually the new one might be 10 now, I don't know, they've changed the uh, GoPro adapter, but if you want a uh, tripod adapter, but if you want a really cheap one, you can check out Amazon, search for GoPro tripod adapters, and there's a wide um, selection of different uh, makers that make them. Then you're gonna need a drill. This is the only kind of hard to find thing is a drill. It's gonna get a quarter inch drill bit so it can uh, put a hole into our clamp for our bolt. Uh, then we're just gonna pick a spot. To get started, we're just gonna pick a spot on our clamp where we want our hole to be. In this case, I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on this little ridge right on top of the clamp here. We come over, pick our spot, Drill our hole, and then take our quarter by 20 inch bolt, slide it into the hole from the inside, just like that. And then we're just gonna grab our nut, first nut, slide that on. And then where as we screw, as we tighten this, it's going to pull the bolt through all of the plastic um, parts of the clamp that are in the bottom. So we'll just tighten this up. And then we could just go ahead and put our tripod mount on now. The problem with that is though, the tripod mount is going to bottom out on the bolt. So the two options are you can either cut the bolt down to size or you can be lazy, get another nut, screw it on, And then this will allow you to adjust um, the point at which the tripod mount bottoms out. So now if you, when I screw this tripod on, you can see that the tripod mount um, bottoms out basically just lined up with the front of the clamp, which is the perfect spot that I wanted it. But if it didn't go there, you could either tighten or loosen this uh, bolt, this nut off so that it lined up where you wanted it to line up. Then all we have to do is mount our GoPro. To do this, we just slide it into the tripod mount. Take GoPro bolt, screw it in. And then just like that, we've made our GoPro tripod, our GoPro clamp mount. So this can be great for um, time lapses or shots where you want to mount your camera to something and then use it to shoot um, the sport that you're doing. So if you're skateboarding, you want to clip your um, your, tri your GoPro onto a jump or something, you can just do this and then it's really easy to clamp onto stuff. Um, and it's a really quick mount to uh, both mount and then unmount. It doesn't take really any setup to do, you just need something that the clip can clip onto and then um, your shot will be stable and you can add as many extender bars onto the tripod adapter as you want to so you can level your shot or get whatever angle that you want um, with your shot. The thing that I really wanna show off today guys was just how cheap it's possible to build these GoPro uh, DUI mounts for So this one, like I said, it was a dollar for the clamp and then it was about these, the hardware that I used here was uh, all about 
20 cents for the hardware. So what I, like I said, I just want to show out how cheap you can do this and how easily and quickly um, you can actually do this. So it's about three minutes to build and all of about a dollar fifty in um, parts and hardware. This is another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe and uh, make sure you check out my channel for lots more videos. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed the video, please like it and leave a comment below if there's any mounts you'd like to see explored on this channel. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching.